It's time to unwrap our model. So, what we're going to do is we're going to start. Let's delete these references because they're no longer needed. Select our hammer base, right click, and we're going to go hide unselected so it's a lot easier to work with. Let's just turn this to a shaded view so we get less lag and edged faces. Go to the modify panel, drop down the modify list and go to unwrap UVW and then open UV editor. There you go, there's our wires. And we essentially want to get these looking tidy and nice so that we can texture them. So we're going to start with the base. We're going to turn off map seams. And as you can see it took away all the green lights. And we're going to scroll down here and select point to point seams. This is basically making our own map scenes. And what we're going to do is we're going to put a big long seam all the way at the bottom of the hammer base. That goes all the way stretching across. And there you go, the blue line shows our seam. Now we're gonna work on creating this top bit off. You can skip points. And click it, and right click to get rid of that. Let's select our face here. And if we click if we click select by planar angle and then click it and select anything on that planar angle. And if we click plane map, that's just unwrap that. So we're gonna move that out of the way. Let's uh, point to point seam again. And we're going to just start drawing seams around all of these metal base bits. one done now we're going to do the next one and you pretty much get the idea of what we're doing here so I'm going to speed up the video to the next part all of the metal bits and everything seamed off so we're going to work on this base at the bottom same as before just draw around if you uh, accidentally put a seam in the wrong place don't worry too much you can control Z it C keep going around this base And finally, this little orb bit at the bottom. There we go. Hey, now it's time to uh, unwrap this. So let's select a face. Let's select expand by seams so you go I selected all that and because we laid out the seams it's fine let's click pout map and as you can see our pout so we're going to stick a start pout I unwrapped it you know it's all horrible and ugly so let's go to the settings and the relax relax by face angles start relax apply straightened it out so let's click commit that's not straight enough. We want to make this so it's a lot straighter and nicer. So let's rotate this using a freeform mode. Let's make it so it's around, you know, 140, 135. So it's standing up straight. Now let's select the edge tool at the bottom here. Let's select one of these edges and click loop UV button to loop the whole line of the UV. And now we're going to select Align horizontal. There you go, it straightened it out. And now we're going to do that. The same again with this bit. Align horizontal. 
And then the same again with the bottom. And now we're going to do it with the sides. So let's click a side, loop UVs, align vertical this time. This is a very slow task. You don't have to do this if you don't want to. This is just doing it so that you get to see some of how the tools work inside the unwrap. And I prefer my stuff to be very uniformed, very tidy. And you want to do this for each one of the segments. That's that done. As you can see, it's nice straight. Let's put go up here and push checkered patterns. Okay, this is basically shows the distortion of our model. As you can see, there's zero distortion here in this handle. It's unwrapped nicely. Move on to the uh, next part. So we want to unwrap this part now. Let's click the face tool again. Click a bit and then expand it and now the same again pelt start pelt check the settings okay let's save to face angle it should save them all now to face angle so let's hit start relax and apply and then com commit okay we're essentially going to do the exact same as what we did with the bottom bit there so let's rotate this around select the edge tool again Click an edge, loop it, and then align hor horizontal. And then same again, loop it, align horizontal. And you're getting the general idea. This is basically what we're going to do with the majority of the base. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to speed up the video once again to a more relevant part. We're just finishing off our last straight in here on the uh, handle. Just moving this down with the face tool. Okay, let's get this here. Just got to scale it up so it matching the ones below. Holding control while it's pulling. We'll keep it nice and conformed. Zoom out. There you go. As you can see, it's all pretty much essentially the same. So let's select this last piece, which is this ball at the bottom and expand the faces start pout settings it should be the same relax by face angles just start relax apply commit okay that's all of this base unwrapped And now it's time to move on to the next part, but first what we're going to do is we're going to close the uh, UV panel. We're going to go up to the top here, right click unwrap, and then collapse all, and then yes, and then unhide the rest of our model, and move on to the next part.